Hey guys, it's Coit here in the lab, and I wanted to give you a walkthrough of how I'm programming my circuit boards, kind of do a rough video. These are my PCBs for my flip clock, which I designed to actually sell. So I just had 20 of these boards made. Sorry for the blurry camera. Uh, I had these boards made in China, to all 20 of them, and assembled. So I gave them a bill of materials for parts on DigiKey. They purchased the parts for me and soldered all of these parts on here after making the PCB. But I noticed a problem once I was now, now that I'm preparing these to actually list on Tindy and eBay, I, I need to program them because I don't want to send them to, to everyone who buys them without a bootloader, uh, without a program. Uh, they need to work. They need to actually make a clock before I sell them. So of course, the, the brain of this is the Atmega 328P chip up here running at 3.3 volts and 8 megahertz. And this chip is going to come from DigiKey with no bootloader and no program. So what we need to do is burn a bootloader, burn a test that bootloader, and burn my final program and make sure everything else is working before I ship these. Now, the real reason for this video is I made an error. I actually told them to put a 328PB chip on these boards instead of the normal 328P. Now you might be like, oh, well, what's the difference? Apparently, I'm just discovering this now. The PB version has a couple more features, uh, but otherwise is identical to the 328P. And I'm not using any of those additional features. So, the only problem really is that the normal Arduino bootloader doesn't really work when you first try it to burn the bootloader on these chips. So, I'm going to show you my programming process and what I have to do to get around that. So, let's move over. So, here's my programming setup. I have, look at this stable here. I have a normal Arduino. This is our programmer. So this is this board, this Arduino is going to be referred now on from the, as the programmer. And the clock board that needs a bootloader is going to be referred to as the target. So, to start this process, I'm using a regular Arduino. I am flashing the Arduino program onto this which allows it to become a full-fledged AVR programmer. Now there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that and, and how to wire these pins online. I'll let you figure that out. Just look up how to use a Arduino to burn an Arduino bootloader on another Arduino. Something along those lines. But I've already done that. So this is our programmer and this is our target. Now, in the Arduino IDE, when you burn the bootloader, this is going to be a little shaky here. Let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Actually, let's get it stable. Sorry, I'm doing this video on the fly, so bear with me here. Basically, once you have made your programmer Arduino by following other tutorials, there, those tutorials are going to instruct you to set the, the programmer up to burn your bootloader. And they're going to tell you, you have to set your target processor selection here, right? In my case, it's a 328P at 3.3 volts, 8 megahertz. COM port is, of course, going to be the COM port of the programmer board, so COM6. And you're literally going to hit uh, programmer Arduino as ISP. That's your programmer already connected to your target. And you're going to hit burn bootloader. And that burn bootloader is going to fail, of course, because we used a 328PB, not a 328P. And it took me a while to figure this out. But what we need to do to fix this is basically trick AVR Dude, which is the behind the scenes program, pro programming software that Arduino uses, into thinking that our 328PB chip is really just a 328P. Because for our purposes, it is. So to do that, uh, you're going to turn on verbose debugging mode in the Arduino IDE. I think it's under preferences. And then when you hit that burn bootloader, like you would from any other tutorial, like I said, it will spit out a bunch of informa information here when it tells you it fails. Now this is what it looks like when it succeeds, but it's very similar to when it fails. And it'll actually have basically a file path that you will find that'll have something uh, that will end up having avrdude.conf. And you want to search or find the path on your computer 
uh, this is not it, but it would look like this. It'll be like C something. Uh, and you want to find where that avrdude.com file is. I actually have mine pulled up in Visual Studio Code over here. So let's zoom in a little on this so I can show you what you need to do. So I have avrdude.conf open. On my computer, it was in C, Program Files, x86, Arduino, slash hardware, slash tools, slash avr, slash etsy, slash avrdude.conf. And you need to find that file and open it. Um, if you want to see my file path, let's see if I can zoom this in. That's my file path on my computer. You're going to go find line 8707, at least that's what it is for me, or just search 328p. And this is uh, the line right here which defines what AVR dude is looking for to pass the test to allow it to program your target chip. Now, a normal Arduino will have 0F here, but we have a PB version, so we're going to trick avrdude.conf, we're going to trick avrdude program, and we're going to change this to 16, which is the signature for a 328PB. And once you do that, you're going to save, you're going to go back, you're going to burn your bootloader, just like you normally would, it should say success. Uh, assuming it says success, you're good to go. You're going to now go back and change this back to 0x0f so it's back to normal. Once you've done that, you're finished. You can now unplug your programmer board. Your, um, your target board has now been programmed with the 328P bootloader, which should work fine. And you're going to be able to use your FTDI just like you would with any normal uh, Arduino Micro or Arduino Pro Micro. You just connect this up to this header here. Oh, it's backwards on my screen. And you can don't need this anymore. You just need this. And you can upload code just like you would with any regular Arduino. Hopefully that helps you.